Hey guys, it's Alex Mayhem and Ironworks here, and uh, today I'm going to be making a super simple scroll pendant. Um, you guys may have seen my leaf tutorial pendant. Um, I actually made just a few of those earlier today. Um, one of them is still hot, but you know, cool little pendants that you can wear. I also, almost everywhere I go, except like when I shower and stuff, um, I wear one of them, like a little leaf. But uh, I thought I could give my uh, try making a little scroll pendant. So that's cooking up in the fire right now. It's probably like a 3 8 inch round bar. I'm, I'm just bringing it super thin so I can just take my pairs of pliers and just bend it into shape. And uh, yeah, so come along with me on my journey on making a little pendant. So I'm using quite a short bar. Um, so I am periodically dipping this end into water because the heat does go to the back. As you can see, I did kind of miss a hammer blow, but I was able to fix that. Um, So I'm going to dip this end into water. Now my goal with this is to just draw a really long, super narrow, not even really a taper, but just to draw it out. And uh, it's great practice. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. And also I'm thinking maybe if I can get good at these and doing them fast, uh, maybe sell them. Back in the fire. And so right up about here, it's a little bit bigger than I want it. So I'm just going to draw it down ever so slightly. I'm definitely going to keep taking material back from here because I want to make a decent sized circle with a scroll inside of it. Just for a fun experiment, I'm going to flip hands. So I'm going to hold the material in my right hand and swing my left just to see how awful I am. Um, again, I'm swinging with my off hand, so don't give me crap about it. Alright, that doesn't work very well. <laughs> but I'm um, going to clinch the back again and uh, put it back in the fire. Whoops. Alright, I can't do this. This is driving me crazy. 
to switch hands back. I cannot strike left-handed. I'm okay with that. And uh, you guys, you guys may be commenting that uh, the material looks like it's way too dark. Well, with the sun shining on it, like you just saw there, that was a pretty decent heat. Um, obviously, it wasn't as like yellow hot, but it was a decent heat. Um, and I could barely see it. Like this is a nice heat right here, especially on the back end. Um, and it's hard to see. As you guys can see, it's uh, drying out quite well. Um, this takes a heck of a lot of patience, um, and uh, it definitely will wear your arm out. But it's a good exercise, um, and I'm probably going to take, probably going to cut this off right about here, and draw out the rest of this, um, and then I'm going to start bending it. So I, I'm going to spare you guys from having to watch the rest of this. So I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to dry it out, and I'll be back when I'm done with that. Alright guys, so when I was uh, taking that off, the, the small little bar off, the big bar stock, totally was, uh, wasn't paying attention and uh, burnt right about a solid inch and a half of line into my hand, so that's always fun. But I do have it all. Uh, rounded over and completely about the same thickness so I know I should like knock these little teeth off the pliers but I haven't yet so it's just like a standard pair of pliers and I got two of them for like I think they were like three bucks a piece at Walmart so I don't know they work pretty good for me uh, but yeah so I'm gonna pull it out of the fire with my flat jaw tongs um, and then scroll over with these, and uh, I'll do it like right over here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. First step in bending these is uh, making a, like a little really tiny scroll for a necklace to thread through, and then I'm going to do the rest of it. So it's going to go in the opposite direction, so it's going to be like a 90 degree twist almost. Um, and you could you could just do it all in one plane and then twist it at the very end um, Which is probably what I'm gonna do Because it's simply easier that way I got hot Or at least most of it hot
all that smoke that's coming off of these is uh, Johnson's paste wax because I use uh, these to dip uh, to dip into the paste wax with little things like beliefs and this eventually. So I'm gonna stick it right back in the fire, get that hot again. I'm gonna close it all the way up, uh, as you guys can see. All right, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna see if I can pull it in a little bit more. Uh, I mean, if not, I think it looks perfectly fine. But in case you guys really wanna know how long it is, I got a little tape measure here. And I'm not gonna actually touch it, otherwise it'll burn up, but just for good measure, see how long it actually is. It's actually more about like eight inches long. Um, so if you guys are looking to make something like this and you wanna know exactly how long it is, I kinda of brought it out to very thin and about eight inches long. All right, so now that's hot, get uh, back here hot and start just kind of scrolling it in and then push it into the circle. Now it's glowing hot. Just gonna start. See? That's exactly why I'm wearing a glove right there. There it goes. I mean, but as you can see here, you get kind of the gist of it. I'm um, definitely gonna make it a lot more even. Um, and I'm going to bend this piece out. As you can see here, it's uh, definitely starting, but uh, I want to make it a hell of a lot more symmetrical. Pardon my French, um, but yeah. So you guys are getting definitely the gist of it. Back into the fire. All right, as you can see, it's looking quite nice. Um, I'm gonna bring it in a little bit tighter, but then I think I'm gonna call it good because I actually really like it and I don't know. Alright guys, so uh, 
this is my pendants. Um, it's not symmetrical, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and it does have that little fisheye hook, that fisheye uh, teardrop hook. Uh, I'm gonna grab my brush, brush it off, give it a little bit of highlight to it, and then I'm gonna drop some face wax in. All right, guys, so uh, I'll tilt you guys up. All right, guys, so there it is. It's a cool little pendant. Um, I'm not sure how you can see. It's relatively flat, and it's got some little shiny bits because I, I uh, used my wire brush just to knock off some of that scale. Now I'm going to dip it in some... Uh, uh, Johnson's Paste Wax. Alright, there we go. It's uh, fully dipped. And I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes. But there's my pendant. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I encourage you to try this. This was quite a bit of fun, except for the burn on the back of my hands. Um, and you can do it with simple pairs of pliers. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you liked it. And uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.